What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Sold Out. And on today's episode, we have the Curry 8s versus the Curry 9s. We are going to do a versus video. With that being said, I wanna shoot you guys over to the Curry 8 giveaway. So I noticed a lot of people haven't seen that yet. It didn't pick up a lot of traction just because of the title name and, and the hashtags that I used on that. But I do have a giveaway going on the channel. Go check out the Curry 8 giveaway video and hit that like button, subscribe comment done on Instagram or on the YouTube page. Okay, now, as always, let's work our way from the top down to the bottom. Now, on the Curry 9s, um, heel slip in comfort was good, um, but this, like I said, bothered me a little bit. I wish this had been angled back just a little bit. Now, lockdown was perfectly fine on both sneakers, but when it comes to heel slip in comfort and lockdown, I will give it to the Curry 8. Um, the Curry 8 was just so comfortable with this sock-like upper right here. It was just so comfortable. It did not bug you at all. This did not rub whatsoever. But it really wasn't too much to gripe about. You just kind of have to break this in a little bit. And, and once that gets broken, it, it, I had no issues with it whatsoever. It just took a few minutes, 10, 15 minutes to break in and, and got right to it. There was no issues with that whatsoever. Down on the laces, I'd give it to the Curry. I like the Curry laces. They're very, very slender, very slim laces. But the lacing on them, just the way that they are woven together feels very high quality. It doesn't feel like you're going to get any fraying on these. It feels like they will last a long time and last outdoors if you're going to play with the sneaker outdoors. Laces on this, just some normal kind of oval laces. Just kind of some normal regular laces. Nothing good, nothing bad. Just, just some decent laces to get the job done. Now, down on the tongue. Tongue was kind of hard on this one just because the Curry 8 really does not have a tongue. It's a one booty upper. There's no like separation whatsoever. It's all woven together right there. So with when it comes down to tongue, I I, I have to choose I have to choose the Curry 9 just the way that they did the Curry 9 tongue. They ported this thing out so much right through here in this area. It is very 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 breathable. This one's breathable. It's not like it runs hot or anything like that, but it's just not as ported out as this one is, and I see why they couldn't do that. They didn't have the right kind of materials like they did on the Curry 9 to be able to port that tongue out like that. So when it comes down to the tongue, I'm gonna have to give it to the Curry 9. Now, down on the materials. I really, really, I really, really like the Curry 8 materials. Wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about the Curry 9 materials, but once I got them in hand, I absolutely love the Curry 9 materials. There are, there are so many different strands and, and woven material going on in this sneaker. So if you wanted to play with this sneaker outside, I think it would last very long time. This sneaker might rip up a little bit because it's more of a knit upper and you can see them strands. There's so much weave going on in this sneaker. I think this will be a great outdoor sneaker to play in. So when it comes down to the materials, knit versus synthetic woven, I would have to go with the Curry 9 on materials. Now, down onto lockdown and stability, it was exact same for both sneakers. I didn't feel any different in either model. It kind of almost felt like you were wearing the same sneaker, and I, and I know people say they look very similar. There's just a few things that have been tweaked. They kind of feel similar. Um, this has, like I said, the heel comfort on this is, is a lot better. So this is a little bit more comfortable to wear. So lockdown and stability, I'm going to have to give it a tie. They are both very, very similar. There's no issues with either sneaker on stability and lockdown. So for this, we will give them a tie. Now, down on to comfort. They both have flow on them. Now, my thoughts on this is eventually people are going to get tired of flow. I was kind of hoping to see some color added to the flow technology. I don't know if it's something in the paint that will remove the way that it functions or the way that it sticks or the way that it it retracts, but I'm curious to why we haven't seen a color yet on this flow technology. We get all white. We have seen now the spray painted base. They kind of put a little spray painted base coat on there. Um, which it, it doesn't look bad, but it would look nice if we could get this technology in a color. So Under Armour, figure out how to put some color in this technology and add it to the four Floatros. Add it to something. You've got to change something up eventually. White, white on the bottoms is just going to get old, going to get played out, and it kind of has the same modeling. When you look at these sneakers, they kind of it kind of looks the same. You know what I mean? You're kind of getting the same technology, especially towards the back of the sneaker. You can notice it starts to kind of get the same from the middle of the sneaker back. 
Now, when it comes to cushion, it's exactly the same. There, there's no difference in cushion. It's not like the nine is softer. It's not like the nine has a softer forefoot. The eight has the same exact forefoot, same exact rear feel. There's no softness, no different in texture, like no different in impact protection whatsoever. And, and that's the kind of bummer. I was hoping to see flow kind of, kind of maybe soften up a little bit, kind of go more like towards re, the react end of like the plush feel. But hopefully in the future, we will get that if they're going to keep using this flow technology. Now, down on to traction. Goat traction. Easy. By far one of the best tractions I've played with. Now, don't get it twisted. I've played in a few gyms, crazy dusty gyms, like lunchroom gyms, and this thing slipped everywhere like it slipped so bad i had to go put the lebron 18 lows on and that did better than this but it was like a lunchroom style floor it wasn't like a wood floor or anything like that it was like a lunchroom style floor so it, it on that kind of floor flows a no-go um but yeah the eight definitely goaded traction onto the nine well the nine just is goaded um there's a few tweaks in the traction um it kind of you can kind of see the circular motions that they put on the eight or i didn't care for this part that much i wish they could have zigzagged this a little bit better to get more traction um but like i said we don't really need more traction that worked fine it really it wasn't like it slipped or anything i just was kind of worried about that part if you hit your foot and try to slide out that that part would slide really bad but it didn't it stuck i don't know how this technology works it feels like it would be slippery it does not feel like it would be tacky but it is deadly tacky i tripped in this shoe like three or four times before i started really gaming in it um just walking getting when this toe hits like you can see it on my table it does not budge and it hurts right here too if you're if you're not used to the curries yet you're gonna have to get used to it toe jamming up here like when you stop you stop so like if you're gonna stop hard you you better be ready to feel that toe hit up against here that's really the only issue with the flow technology is how hard it actually stops it is one of the craziest tractions that i've ever seen and it stops so freaking hard if you're on a clean gym you have no issues you definitely are playing with the best traction in the gym if you have on either one of these sneakers so even in a dusty gym some dusty floors in the curry in the flow technology it's just an easy wipe, one wipe and you're good to go. You're, you're not like out of the game or having to switch shoes or anything like that. Just a quick wipe and get right back on the court and go. So guys, when it comes down to the eight and the nine, which one would I prefer? I'd have to go with the nine. Um, and that's just because of the material, the breathability in the tongue. I love the fact that it's breathable. I love a breathable sneaker. Hate having a hot foot. And I absolutely love that. Not a, not a big fan of the aesthetics of either shoe when it comes to like casually rocking them. But for basketball, I think they did a dope job on them. I think this looks a lot better. But yeah, I like the materials on the 9 a lot better. It's, it's a lot more breathable. This sneaker really wasn't that hot. And this one's a lot cooler. So at the end of the day, guys, I would go with the Curry 9. When it comes down to what one I would recommend for you guys, either one whatever one you can get cheaper you cannot go wrong with either sneaker if you're a high school middle school high school any any player trying to save a few bucks your parents trying to save a few bucks you can probably get the curry a little bit cheaper right now i know there was some shipping issues and it took forever for us to get the nine so the nine prices might be up a little bit but the eight you should be able to get under retail and there is nothing wrong with getting this eight. This thing is deadly on court. I had no issues with the traction. You'll have no issues with anything. The only thing you don't really get is a really nice impact protection. It's, it's not the worst, but it's not the best. It, it does its job. If you're looking for more impact protection, yeah, you might want to go something with a strobe, zoom strobel in the forefoot or full length zoom strobel or a zoom unit in the, in the forefoot or like a Jordan brand or a Kyrie, something with a strobel in the forefoot or like the why not 0.5s, something like that, something with more cushion in it. They didn't have no issues, didn't have no leg pain or anything running around the court for a couple hours in these sneakers. So guys, go head over to the giveaway to try to get you a free pair of Currys. If you don't wear a size eight, sell them to a buddy, put them on StockX, put them on GOAT, I don't care what you do, put them on eBay. Um, I sold actually a couple pair of these already for over retail, I sold them for 200 bucks. So if you guys want to get you a pair of sneakers in the giveaway it's easy you don't got to do much a couple things on youtube a couple things on instagram like comment subscribe stuff go hop in that giveaway so guys this was my rundown of the curry eight and the curry nines thanks for stopping by and we'll catch you on the next episode of sold out peace